poetic ending. It'll be some kind of epic fourth wall break at the very end, and this is huge speculation, but it will be like a mercy kill to Rick, because once the show ends, Rick can finally die. Right. Hmm. But, I mean, he has to have that Mulan Szechuan teriyaki sauce first. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, so That's enough to, That's enough reason to be depressed not having I that. I can yeah. see it. I mean, like you said, some episodes are self-enclosed, like little pocket adventures. You know, like the when they go into Anatomy Park. Oh, yeah. Know, yeah. It's, <sighs> that probably isn't a C-137 episode. That's what I'm saying. No. I don't think that's C-137 either. Yeah, because I don't honestly think... So are there's Jerry's no fault. parents with the third person in C one seven's world, C one thirty seven's world, the one guy they bring to Christmas dinner? Oh, that was so <laughs> creepy. Yeah, so creepy. Yeah, his, his um, Jerry's hilarious. parents' lover or whatever. He's, while he's his dad, dad watches, watching a Superman costume. Yeah, yeah, the creepy. Oh, and that's one thing they say. They, you notice though is that old man Rick porn. knows Jerry's parents. At least. Because they've met before. Because when he meets him at the door, he says, hello, hello. Yeah, it's how are you? By name. Yeah. And then takes Rupert, the homeless guy. Which, hang on. He, how could he have... So, if Jerry... Dis- if Rick disappeared for 20 years from Beth's life, and Summer is still in high school, and Summer was born the night of their senior prom, which would have been 18, and I think we figured out Summer's about 16... Rick should have never in our C one thirty seven universe should have never met Jerry's parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that must there's an indication that must be a di- well, we're making well, unless it. they unless they've shown up. So we don't know exactly how long Rick has been back for, do we? He just and so at the season one premiere, it sounds like he, he just, just came recently back. came yeah. back. It yeah. Was. Right. So I'd say he's it's been he's been back less than a year. Okay. It has to be. Fair enough. So, or if you go seasons by years, and he met them in the first season, yeah, he wouldn't have known them for any reason. Hmm. Oh, I mean, when I, I suppose you could say that Jerry, you know, my parents are coming over, and this is their names. And gives you a headache, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a lot that's just my my brain. Is, <laughs> my brain is actually steaming right now. I don't know if there's you guys so can see that. Look, I think we're all overthinking this. It really just is about the Mulan Szechuan dipping sauce. It, yeah, yeah, I mean, he he went on five that. more seasons. <laughs> I mean that kind of even plays into the. He says why would he have lot, that? Why right. would he have that monologue? And he had the monologue in the season one episode too. Yeah, that's the that's, first, that's, season that's, one that's, episode one. To rap. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, so I mean, he kn- he knows he knows the cartoon. He's too Has smart. to. He's too smart not to know. He's like Deadpool. Deadpool knows he's in a comic book. Rick knows he's in a cartoon. That's yeah. Cool. Oh, there, there was also the theory floating around that the season one premiere that bomb goes off. And it and destroys that. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> so we're our original Rick and Morty are gone. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to think? That. So we're just throwing all of these theories out the window Ooh. at this point. Oh that man, lot, none of yeah. that. This whole past half an hour just doesn't even matter. Just doesn't even count. Anyways, speaking of things not counting, and, and you know what? What also could be true is that we don't necessarily know that these episodes take place in order. Chronological, yeah. Yes. yeah. So the season mm. one premiere could actually be the last episode where he mm. says, I had to blow it up, Morty, and then just that's actually the end of the series is them dying by that explosion. So you're saying that it's, yeah, it could, that if like be... by the end of the series, you watch every episode in reverse order, yep. you just watch it in chronological that order. Would, you would have to. Ch- Oh man, that would be a Shyamalan twist out of a uh, crazy. Well, not necessarily in reverse order, but just random sporadic order. Yeah, you know, there is. That's, well, that's like the, that's no, like a George so, Lucas. Yeah, thing. like the Clone Wars cartoon was just in, just like somebody just threw it all over the place. It was, it was no like order. Star Wars from Fetty. Oh, there you, go. you have to go online to figure out what order it goes in. So maybe at the end of Rick and Morty, there was, somebody will be able to splice it together. Wow, that's. Never heard that one either. So we're just look at look at us. We I think we just came up with, with like we are three, the, a three living new embodiment theories. of Reddit right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're just we're channeling the Reddit force through us. I, I don't. I feel like if Reddit was a dude, he'd be a creepy dude. Yeah, yeah. probably be bald and have glasses and mm-hmm. some kind of weird facial hair. Four Chan was like a dude, that. he'd be a Nazi. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. 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 All right, no, Rev, you said you were kind of moving into a new. Uh, oh yeah. So speaking of things not actually counting or anything like that. Here's an interesting theory. What if the entire season three, episode one, Rick Shank Redemption, he's still in the simulator at the end of it? Because if you think about it, 
normal episode, he normally has some kind of struggle with something, Mm -hmm. right? But that whole episode... Just goes perfectly. It went way way too smoothly. Yeah, that's... that's... And you hear, too, that um, they say, well, this pro... Or, you know, we have a better simulator... But we, you know, didn't have the budget That's or true. something like yeah, that. But what if it's that. just the simulation telling Rick in his subconscious that if he was using the non top of the line one just to keep him in the top of the line one? You could go through the whole season three with all this crazy shit and none of it actually matters. You're oh, still in the simulation. Say, quite frankly, if they wanted to go that far, they could go seasons. Go right, three or four more seasons. Oh of it. God, that'd be By cruel. By the way, you've been in a simulation this entire. That time. would be cruel and unusual. Surprise! Wouldn't you're surprise in the Matrix. Me, yeah, wouldn't surprise me at all. But think about that, because if you do, things go way too easily for him in that episode. It is true. Normally, I mean, he gets everything he wants and and more. And Beth and Jerry break up, and we've seen. They've come that close so many times, but they've always, like you said, they've always repaired it. They've always ended yeah. up, yeah. So it is kind of strange that they, that she just decides, done, done. Everything gets, everything falls into line so perfectly Plus, for Rick. Jerry's in the season three trailer that just dropped a couple weeks ago. Jerry's in it several times. Yeah. I, you know what I feel like they intentionally did is in the first uh, interdimensional cable episode. Neither Rick nor Morty put on the headset Mm -hmm. because they're watching Cable to see what they're up to in other lives. And we find out that there is a reality where Jerry and Beth never come together. I would be very curious to see what the hell Rick is up to in that reality. Yeah, he has no Morty. Yeah. Huh. I think that might tie in somewhere too. Maybe and he it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. They, like I said, Dan Harmon will take little things like that, and they'll be huge later, and nobody sees it coming. Yeah. Hmm. Because I mean, when Summer is trying it on, you know, flipping through the dimensions, it's always oh, I'm studying, or we're all playing. Yeah, or there's a lot of them where she doesn't even exist. So yeah. A lot of them where she doesn't even exist. True. But somehow, but there's so many Mortys. Does that mean that it's almost know, like an inevitability? The Morty that, has to happen, so yeah. Beth and Jerry will end up together well, one way or another. Even if it's just like a one night stand or something, but you know, even if it's that one night stand, then he would become an actor and she would become an actual human surgeon. And well, that's what I mean is they, for whatever reason, are always compelled to be together, even when they're in a toxic marriage. For whatever reason, they keep staying together or coming together, even in other realities. It's almost like it was meant to be. Well, yeah, it's almost like it's almost an inevitability. Oh, what if, what if, what if original Rick slash Morty has done has been pulling the strings? Yeah, maybe to make more Mortys happen. Well, like you said, you know, where the hell did all of those Mortys that he's torturing come from? It's true. Hmm. No dead Ricks. Yeah. Only twenty-seven dead Ricks, but there's got to be at least hundreds, least, thousands, at least fifteen Mortys on the outside of that. Right. So yeah, where are all these absentee Ricks? Yeah, I, I don't think there are there are Ricks for those Mortys. Yeah. Hmm. I know. That's that's interesting subject matter. So All right. We have uh, so we've kind of. All right, so I got yeah, one. We already for really you. talked about Mr. Poopy Buttholes already existed, always existed. Um, Ooh, I got one for you. Uh, there's actually theories out there that uh, Rick and Morty and Gravity Falls are actually in the same universe. Have you guys heard about this? Yeah, I, have. I don't know much about Gravity Falls, so I'm going to default to you on this one. Well, I'm, I'm one of those weirdos that if, as soon as I see something that might be in a shared universe, I'm watching it, right? Okay. So there's actually a couple of scenes. I think it's actually, again, in the Season 3, Episode 1, Rick Shank Redemption, where he's running from, and somebody please correct me if I'm wrong, but he's running through and opening up all, from the Council of Ricks and opening up all these different portals as uh, like a diversion. And what ends up happening is at one of these that he opens up, a mug, a notepad, and a, pe- or and a pencil fly through one of the portals. Well, if you are into the show and in the opening title sequence, the... Uncle Stan, I think his name is, or Great Uncle Stan, he actually ends up uh, losing a hat with a question mark and, uh, or the top hat and the pencil and the notepad through the portal. Inter- in the opening credit sequence of that Gravity Falls show. 
okay. then as soon as he opens one up, guess what flies through? Is the same things. So that's why people are always... And then um, also there's another one. Because in the series Gravity Falls, there's like the main bad guy is like this interdimensional like triangle dude. Okay. Right? And um, the episode in Rick and Morty where Beth and Jerry go to the wedding or go to the marriage counseling. I forget which episode that is exactly. Okay. But if you look on one of the screens, like um, while they're sitting in the lobby of the um, the marriage counseling, mm-hmm. you look on one of the computer screens and you actually see the same triangle dude show up. So that's a possibility that they're in the same unit. I think the triangle dude's name is Bill or something like that. Okay. Something crazy. I, I could see that. You know, I, I there, did watched you, a part of an episode of Gravity Falls. Did you mention? Very sci-fi, like did that you too. mention that Dan Harmon and the creator of Gravity Falls are? Friends? Oh yeah, they were actually oh, roommates okay. in college. I oh. think is what it was. Yeah. There's, well, that I yeah I could see that. Just kind of a subtle, you know. Yeah, it's just a, to each other. a couple of subtle homages, but just right. the that little thing just expands the whole universe like that. I don't think it'll ever come to fruition though, because Gravity Falls has been canceled. Yeah, it's already it over is? with. Like, oh, I didn't like know that. They on, yeah, they oh. only have two seasons, but even still. Oh wow! Like I said, I've never followed the show. I saw part of one episode. I knew it was very sci-fi. It's very popular like for a while. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, they just little homage or nods like that. Yeah. I could see. Well. Of course, okay. then again, we're the society nowadays is just going ridiculous with this whole shared universe thing, like. Blade Runner and Indiana Jones and all this other stuff. Are you saying that they're a shared universe? No, 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 no. I'm just they're saying there's a very th- similar looking actor. There, yeah, duh. Because, yeah. but there's you know theories out there, man. There, you just go through the rabbit hole of YouTube sometime about shared universes. Right, I'm telling you the what. The infinite Ford. Yeah. The infinite amount of Harrison Fords out there. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> you look at the world would be a better place. They jump through the mentions with their grandsons and just Harrison Ford everywhere. <laughs> Whoa, they're. At least, a Harrison yeah, Ford for every through, family. They're not like jumping through universes with Shia LaBeouf, are they? Uh, I hope not. Uh, if Harrison Ford is the reason we have Shia LaBeouf, then I'm done with Harrison. <laughs> like, might very well be. Maybe he just needs to plash in, or crash another plane or something. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Old I, man. All right. <laughs> Season three. So the premiere in a kind of fast move by Adult Swim premiered on April 1st. And the second part of season three is July. It's uh, July, July 30th. 30th. I actually 30th. ignored that link at 11:30 p.m. On April Fool's Day. I completely ignored it because I thought this, this isn't real. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't either. And then the word got around that it, it was real. Watch it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was How long did that, you think that took before somebody actually opened it? Was like, oh shit. I had to because it was later in the day when everybody had already fallen for so many links already. Yeah. That, you know, they, it was it was well played. It was very well. And played. the fact is, too, if um, I actually watched something about this or read an article, how they did that on July first is they actually released the last or yeah, April first, the last part of the episode. Like they went in reverse order. Like they started uh, releasing the videos like the end of the episode all the way to the beginning. Did they do that on Instagram? I think they did on Twitter. Something like that. I remember hearing that. They released them in reverse order, like 10 second clips. Yeah. Hmm. The whole episode just reverse just reverse order. I mean, I guess we won't see until the second premiere, if you will, starts up. But, you know, what if that episode legitimately was an April Fool's joke and he still is in prison? No, yeah. oh, that would be. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's great because they gave. We think that they did an anti April Fool's joke, but it was really an anti April Fool's April Fool's joke. Yeah. Wow. Which would not be God damn it, Harmon. <laughs> Make this easier for us. So I mean, come thing, on. Bullshit. The first thing we should talk about is we had Tiny Rick before, and now we're gonna have Pickle Rick. Yeah, Pickle Rick. And Pickle Rick. I don't know if you guys noticed, but he's rocking a pretty sweet, almost Iron Man esque suit of armor made out of dead rats. At one point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I did. I did see that. They actually first released that footage back in last year's Comic Con. I yeah, think it I was. heard that they did some. Um, but it was all like crude drawing and stuff like yep. that. But we're getting to see the more finished product, and dude, it looks insane. I'm hoping that we won't see so, so much downtime with season four. I mean, Dan Harmon came out and publicly apologized. Yeah, right. Well, did, did anybody else realize that... So I don't know how the exact date's in front of me, but somebody pointed out on uh, Twitter, I noticed, that season two, at the end of the episode, when uh, Mr. Poop Butthole says, wait a year, like a year and a half, 
if you take a year and a half, the exact amount of days from that date to April 1st, it's Ooh. perfectly a year and a half. Hmm. Like whatever.